Hello underwater photographers. We're here today to talk about how to use underwater video lights for shooting underwater photo and video. I'm Sea Life Ambassador Brent Durand with the Brent Durand Underwater YouTube channel for learning underwater photography and video. Now, why do we need light underwater? Well, basically adding a photo video light will help bring back vibrant colors and contrasts into our scene, whether we're shooting video or photo. You probably remember from getting certified as a diver that as we descend deeper into the water column, we start to lose colors starting with the red channel. And that is why we see a blue or green tint as we get deeper under the water and why many divers like to carry a light or a torch to help bring some of the light back into the reef as they're looking around. The exact same principle applies for these photo video lights because they bring powerful artificial light to the scene that helps bring back the reds, oranges, the greens, the blues, and all those radical colors that we see underwater and that's what makes our photo and our video pop. There are a lot of different lights to choose from in building your underwater camera system. In general, there's two types of lights. There are photo and video lights with a nice wide beam, like the Sea Life Sea Dragon system. Most of these lights have a nice wide 120 degree beam. The wide beam provides a lot of coverage for underwater photo and video. There are also dive lights which have narrow beams and those are great for regular scuba diving or for night diving or really trying to shine and pierce through the water column. But for photo and video we want these wide lights. So let's take a closer look. At the top of the list is the Sea Dragon 5000F Auto with 5000 lumens of power in a small compact body. It also has a CRI or color rendering index of 96. Suffice it to say that that means it delivers excellent light quality for your underwater photo and underwater video. Next we have the 3000 F auto with 3000 lumens of power. Sea Life also has a 2500 F which I have on my system right now. And then the 2000 F which delivers 2000 lumens of power. As you get into smaller lights, we have the Mini 1000F, which is awesome for small compact camera systems, for action camera systems, maybe something like the RM4K or the Micro 3.0, so you can get a very small compact setup that still delivers a thousand lumens of bright power. This one actually has a 130 degree beam angle, so it's nice and wide and can even be used as a focus light on any number of cameras for macro photography. And how do you mount your photo or video light to your camera system? It's really easy if you're using the Sea Dragon Flex Connect arm and tray system. And when I say easy, I mean one click. Here you go. You've got the light mounted onto the arm and tray with a great handle to hold your light and keep nice and stable footage. You can position the light as you like for all kinds of different options in lighting your photos or your videos. Now, if you wanna add more, you can add a Flex Connect arm with one click. To disassemble the system, it's really easy. Just push the red buttons and you can take each component apart, which makes it really easy to clean or break down when you're packing for your dive trip. One question we get asked a lot is whether you should have one light or two lights on your camera system. And that totally depends on you who's out there shooting and diving. You can have a one light system that's very simple, easy to carry around, easy to pack, easy to swim with and shoot photo and video with while you're on your dive or you could decide to opt for a double system. Now, this is obviously bigger, a little heavier, but it's a still a nice, small, compact light system that provides you two lights. So what are the pros and cons? Well, if you're using one light, that's really all you need for subjects that are close to the camera. So if you're shooting macro, if you're shooting close focus, wide angle style shots, where one light will really fill the field of view in front of you, then one light is all you need. It's simple and it's efficient. But if you're getting into wide angle scenes and you wanna light big reefs and mantas and sharks and things like that, you may wanna get a double system because you can have a light on either side and it gives you a lot more flexibility with positioning the lights. You can position the lights in ways that will help minimize backscatter. So the choice is yours depending on what type of diver you are and what type of photo and video you wanna shoot. Can you use one of these video lights for shooting still photos? 
Yes, absolutely. Now, we know that turning on the video light while we're recording our video produces nice, great light. The light is on, the video is recording. It's the exact same principle for shooting still photos. Just turn on the video light and everything you see through the LCD on the back of the camera is what you're going to capture. So you can position the light in the way that best lights your subject and minimizes backscatter. See it, click, and you're good to go. There's a big benefit to using a video light for your system, and that's that you've got a nice small compact system. Now, some still photo shooters will opt to use a flash or a strobe, like the Sea Life Universal Flash, and the reason for that is it helps freeze fast action. So that's an obvious benefit of the flash or the strobe. But going back, if you want simplicity, you can absolutely shoot great photos, fantastic photos, and of course video with a single video light or even a dual video light system. You could even bridge the gap by using one video light and one universal flash if you're very serious about both your video and your photos. I hope this provided some insight for you. If you want to look up more about these lights and accessories, go to Sea Life's website linked below and also check out more of our tutorial videos, tutorial articles, and sample photo and video shot with all of this gear. I'm Brent Durand. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.